On the Astros in the friendly confines, Matt Nay first pitch hits home plate umpire Jerry Mules in the head. But this is not what my English teacher would call a harbinger because Wood was under control thereafter. BGO swinging. Next batter, Derek Bell swinging. Third batter, Jeff Bagwell. Looking, the killer bees down in strikes in order in the first. Second inning, more of the same. Jack Howell, high heat. Next batter, Moise Salu. Swinging five strikeouts. We've got a K corner in the upper left hand portion of your screen. Top of the third, Ricky Gutierrez gets wood on wood finally and also gets a little leather. Kevin Ory's glove into left field. This was ruled a hit. Could go either way. A significant ruling because wood was unhittable. Next batter, Brad Oscar swinging. Top of the fourth, Bagwell looking. Next batter, Howell looking. Eight strikeouts through four for wood. Top of the fifth. Moise Salou, looking. Dave Clark, looking. Ricky Gutierrez, looking. Shane Reynolds, looking. Somebody take your bat off the shoulder. All right, Bagwell's going to take his hacks. 13 strikeouts. Powell, he's gone. Alou, check your swing. Yeah, Terry Tatis says that's 15 strikeouts. Top of the eighth. Dave Clark, 16. Ricky Gutierrez, number 17. Then Brett Ausmus, that's a new Cubs record. 18 strikeouts for Kerry Wood. Top of the ninth. Wood needs to strike out the side to break the major league record of 20 set by Roger Clemens, a fellow Texan. And Wood gets pinch hitter Bill Spires leading off the inning. Swinging. That's number 19. Craig Biggio grounds out. So Wood can only tie the record. And he's looking for the record against Derek Bell. Looking for number 20. And oh my goodness. That pitch broke a foot. Last pitch of the game. 20 strikeouts ties Roger Clemens' major league record. In all, a one-hitter for Wood. Can't even scatter one hit. Kevin Ory, who got a glove on the only hit, said Wood deserved the no-hitter. I'll go up there and tell them to give me an error, Ory said. Walker into pinch hit with the bases loaded. And that is the correct button to push on behalf of Don Baylor. Second career grand slam for Larry Walker. We are tied at five. That's your score in the top of the ninth. One on for Ellis Burks. The blooper to center field. Desi Relaford comes out of nowhere, makes the great diving grab and gets up. And now Mike Lanson's got some explaining to do as Desi picks him off first for a double play. 6-5 Rockies in the bottom of the ninth. One on for Greg Jeffries. Rips one down the right field line off Jerry Depoto. Here comes Bobby Abreu tying the run, tying the game. We're going to extras. Top of the 10th, runners on the corners for John Vanderwall. Infield in, Kevin Jordan's coming into the plate. Dante Bichette is out. Nice play by the Phillies D. So we're still tied at six in the bottom of the 10th. Base is loaded with two outs. Chuck McElroy gives up the game winner to Bobby Abreu. McElroy had loaded the bases on walks himself. Mike Lieberthal could walk home with the game winning run. Abreu's fourth hit of the game. Phillies win seven to six in 10 innings. McGuire at bat, walks top of the four. McGuire walks on four straight pitches. Bottom of the fourth, still no score. Jermaine Allensworth facing Todd Stoudemire. And Allensworth hits it to deep right center field. Willie McGee and Ray Langford miscommunicate. The ball rolls all the way to the wall. Allensworth comes all the way home inside the Parker, standing up his first homer of the year. Pirates lead 1-0. Top of the six, do we have history? McGuire, one hitter. history is just foul. So McGuire doesn't bust out the whooping stick, but he needs to bust out the needle and thread. Ripped his pants. McGuire doesn't homer. Up now block facing Bobby Witt, Chuck. Peace. Hit well, down in the corner. Homer to left, fair. his second home run of the season, is only hit in five at bats. Yanks up one zip. Top two, two zip Yanks, bases loaded. Derek Jeter up. DJ, Big Willie Styles, getting jiggy hit with it. Well. Sends one to right center. Chad Curtis, Jorge Posada, Chuck Knobloch all score. First triple of the year for Jeter. He had seven three-baggers last year. Yanks up five zip. Four batters later, up seven nothing. Rock Reigns facing Tim Crabtree. Tim, you lost. Rock belts his second homer of the year. Yanks have a nine nothing lead. Bottom three, Rangers down nine one. Runners in second and third. This is kind of interesting. Juan Gonzalez against David Wells. Gonzalez, yes, he does get a hard knock. Lines a shot off Knobloch's glove. The scorer rules it a single at first, but then changes the call to an error. Gonzalez not happy with the call, not happy with the reversal. Remember that, Rangers down 9-3. Gonzalez is next step back. Jack's a homer to left, three-run shot, 39 RBI in the year, big league high. But on his way to the dugout, he stares down the official scorekeeper. Not happy about that error earlier. 
Bottom six, Gonzalez is next at bat. Singles to left, and again, again, he's going to taunt the official scorer. <laughs> I saw what you did. Yeah, what he did was he gave the guy an error. Relax. <laughs> Two batters later, Rangers down 13 to 11. Pudge Rodriguez. Pudge is just being a Mac. Hitting 439 this year. He had four RBI in the night. Gonzalez will Clark score. We're tied at 13. Top eight. Game tied at 13. Bernie Williams, who had two triples on third. Jorge Posada. Flares one over Kevin Elster's glove. Williams scores. Said Joe Torre afterwards, our guys never quit. They kept coming at it. Yankees going to win this game 15 to 13. More baseball. Blue Jays, Angels. Jim Edmonds. Fat Mojo. Two run shot, his fifth of the year, 5 1 Halos. Top five, 5 2 Angels, man on for Carlos Delgado. Delgado does it. Doesn't get it. <laughs> Struck out in the high fastball, then Sean Green thrown out by Matt Wallbeck. Strikeout throughout to end the inning. Top seven, Sean Green getting his big hit on. Two run shot to right, his sixth of the year, ties it at five. Hit it off of Shigatosi Hatsugawa. Top eight, 5 5. Juan <laughs> Samuel at third. Tony Fernandez, the chopper to Carlos Garcia, who comes home with hit. Samuel safe at home. Blue Jays up 6-5. They win the game 6-5 against the Angels. Top one. Minnesota up one zip. Two out. Ron Kuma. Break me off a little something, something, kid. Breaks off one that bends around the right field foul pole. It's first rule to ground rule double. And then Larry Barnett explains to Jimmy Williams, there was no fan interference. Kuma gets his sixth home run of the year. He was three for five on the night. Still top one. David Ortiz rocks one to right. Field, Darren Bragg. SB time! Robs Ortiz of the home run. Take a second look. Bragg was just one for four hitting, but does it matter? Oh, Jim Edmonds, you've got some, uh, you've got some SB competition here. Bottom nine, Sox down 8-5. Two out, runners at the corners. More ninth inning heroics for the Red Sox. They've already had 15 come from behind wins. Rick Aguilera. Gets tagged by Midre Cummings. Cummings, a 308 hitter. Next batter, Nomar Garcia Para. With the score 8 7. Nomar faces seven pitches, but on the eighth, he grounds to second for the final out. Twins win the game 8 to 7. The Red Sox had come in winning 18 of their last 22. Alfonso had to leave the game in the bottom of the fifth with the sprained left ankle. Top of the seventh, two on, two out. Pitcher Brian Anderson tries to beat the throw with a head first slide. Not too smart because he injured his shoulder on the play. Would have to come out of the game up two to one. Bottom of the eighth, one out. That same score. Runners on the corners for Brian McCray at the plate. Grounds to second. Diamondbacks try to turn two, but Jay Bell, yikes. And away. Carlos Baerga scores, tied at two. Vieira keeps the inning alive, and that would be key because the Mets up four to two at the bases loaded in the same inning. Todd Pratt rips one down the left field line. Came up Tuesday from the minors. Had a three RBI night with a three run homer. He knocks in all three runs with a triple on this night. Six ribs in two games. Mets explode for seven in the eighth and win for the ninth time in their final at bat. 8 2 is your final. Mel Rowe, Montessi to come back to him. Remark, Greg, a lot of fitters try to take me up the middle. And maybe they should know that Maddox has won eight straight gold gloves. Bottom four, Chipper Jones. Bend the bomb! Solo home run is 11th of the year. Braves have hit a homer in 18 straight games. They're up one zip. Three batters later. Look, I'm going to tell you. Michael Tucker's just been ripping up the spot here. Again. Two run shot, sixth homer in six games. Hex, sixth homer in his last 20 at bats. Braves up three zip. Bottom five, Sacks Jack, Andres Galarraga extends his hitting streak to 13 games. Walt Weiss, Keith Lockhart score. Braves win big, seven to nothing. Maddox got knocked out of the game by a ball hit off his knee, but the damage had been done again. Giants tried to win four straight for the second straight week against the Marlins. It was a shootout. That's what you call writing a video. Top seven, Marlins up 9-3. Felix Aradia walks Daryl Hamilton to lead off the inning. Then he walked Bill Miller and then Barry Bonks. Seven Giants walk. And then the Marlins call the bullpen. Collect. Hello. <laughs> Antonio Alfonseca comes in. And after walking two batters, Brent Main, crunk. Brent's second home run of the year, second career grand slam, said Main at 3-2. He threw the ball right where I could hit it. Thanks. In a way. The Marlins can't believe their eyes. They blew a six-run lead. And then Stan Heavy. Stan Javier at the bat, grounds to short. Edgar Renteria got the force at second. Javier beat the throw to first. Bill Miller scored. Giants win 10-9. Ams hosting the Chai Sox again. Lou Pinella, touch of the flu. 
he was there anyway. Top five, Albert Bell sends one to center field. Ken Griffey Jr., how you gonna try and play me, Albert, like that? Uh-uh. That's why Griff has eight career gold gloves. Top seven after Mike Tillman gives up back-to-back -back doubles to put Chicago up 7-6. Heath clips Slocum in, facing Ruben Sierra on a 3-0 pitch. I said, ah, holla at him, brother. Sierra's second home run of the night, 12th career multi-homer game, 9-6 White Sox. Pinella asking Dan Wilson, what pitch was that, 3-0? Bottom of the seven, Wilson redeems himself. The guy who had the first ever King Dome inside the park Grand Slam last week gets his third homer of the season, ties the game at nine. Bottom eight, still tied at nine, runners at the corners. David Segui pops one into foul territory. Watch Robin Ventura, it's foul, the game's tied. Ventura should have let it drop, instead he catches it. And Joey Cora tags and comes home to score. That would be your game winner. Mariners win it 10 to 9. Junior 2 for 3 hosting Baltimore. Jim Tomey has been like butter because he is on a roll. Came in with an eight game hitting streak during which he was hitting 488. Make it nine games. Lines one to left. Omar Vizquel scores. One zip Cleveland. Top four. Rafael Palmero towards Tomey at first. Getting biz nizzy with his, with his glove. Said Brian Giles. It's contagious. We fed off Jim Tomey for four or five games and then Get at me, dog. Bottom four, Tomei. Three-run shot to left center. Sixth of the year, five RBI in the night. 7-1 Cleveland. We love you, Jim. Dude. Bottom five, Tomei again. Two men on. Doubles over Jeffrey Hammond's head and center. Said Oreo skipper Ray Miller. I'm not real happy. We got our butts kicked. Dean Palmer's number, by the way, is 16. Oh, he struck out 16 times? No, no, no. Oh, Dean Palmer struck out three times. Figures Top of the fifth. Devil Rays up 1-0. Two outs. Bases loaded. Kevin Stocker rips the Glendon Rush offering down the left field line. Mike Kelly, Fred McGriff, come on down. Devil Rays win 5-0. Rolando Arojo has now put together back-to-back -back three hit shutouts. The first two shutouts in Devil Ray history. In his last 18 innings, Arojo has allowed only two runners past first base and retired 23.